Okay, so we're getting started with the AMZ Repricer Enhanced. And you'll be here at your Amazon Seller Central homepage. And you want to navigate to your pricing and then to your manage pricing. And here, if you've gotten the tool set up correctly, that's your loading bar, you should see these columns populate. But you can see that there's nothing in the profit and there's no buy cost. So you're going to want to upload those. Well, so how do you do that? So one way is via Inventory Lab if you use this service. So you're going to get logged in and head over to your inventory. You can use either FBA or Merchant Fulfilled. And then with one click, you're going to export it there and you're done. Save. If you don't use Inventory Lab, there's another solution. You can go to a standard online arbitrage buy sheet and if you click our icon you can see the format SKU and cost and so you'll grab the you copy your SKU column and you'll put it right there and to match the format you will find your buy cost and you will copy it there and paste it here into any spreadsheet and we will download that as uh, CSV or an Excel and save it and you're done. So let's head back to our manage pricing and upload the cost and we'll choose the inventory lab and we're uploaded. And so when this finishes loading we can see all of our buy costs, our profit numbers, check out the buy box, any notes that we want to make and here you can see at the top when I made some notes to myself we're gonna hold at 120 because this seller is at 99 and they're merchant fulfilled but we're gonna to try to sell that a little bit more expensive via FBA and then I would head over to check my automate pricing tab where my rules are and this is my general strategy for most of my ASINs and you want to check out any listings that were paused and why they were paused and you can see this one I changed the price manually and I'm liquidating this one um, but we're not going to go down low so we're just going to restart this and see if the price will come back up and then I would generally check my minimum price reached because I want to see anyone who's gone below my minimum price and we load these one at a time uh, and you just click a few to get them going because uh, Amazon limits the amount of data that we can pull and here you can see this price is pretty in line so we're not going to mess with it we're pretty much probably getting the buy box there uh, this next one I can see we were going to liquidate we already have a negative profit so um, let's make a note to ourselves. Uh, let's liquidate these and we'll drop the minimum price about nine and from here, you just go through your normal pricing routine, and that's how you set it up.